What's up, everybody? I uh, hope everybody's doing good. Um, so we're about a month and a half-ish into the season and uh, about 35 games into the season. And similar to last year, I thought it would be fun to kind of look at the guys that have started off the year hot. Uh, the top 30 players, I ended up taking the top 30 players in terms of their total war uh, and looking to see what is the best card that I own of those top 30 players. And I thought I was able to find a pretty good representative of each player, but uh, you guys let me know if you have a better version um, of the of that particular player. Uh, some guys, you'll see, I, I realize that I don't have a very good collection for certain players. So uh, before I dive into that, I just wanted to show you, I opened up a box of... Uh, I didn't want to do it, but I ended up opening up a box of Bowman uh, 2022. I didn't want to do it because I had already bought a box of 2022 first edition. But I, I, I don't know, I was bored and I decided to open a box off camera. And here are some of the highlights. So uh, you get this one Invicta card per box. Uh, hit this Wilman Diaz. Uh, hit the Wander Franco rookie. Uh, Trace Sweeney first. George Valera first, and these are cards that you're going to want to look for if you do open a box of Bowman. As I pointed out in a previous video, James Wood uh, hit uh, two Khalil Watsons. I don't know what it is, but uh, for some reason I cannot hit Ellie De La Cruz. So I, I opened up yet another box, opened up the Bowman first edition and a hobby box of Bowman and have not pulled one Ellie De La Cruz, uh, who I have as the number two guy to look for. But the number one guy to look for is this guy Khalil Watson. Uh, then we got uh, this uh, Jeremy Vargas uh, Speckle. Pretty nice looking card there. Brady Allen, number to 399. Uh, that is, and of course, you want the uh, the first Bowman in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, the auto that I hit was this Ricardo Genovas. Uh, from what I saw, like, you know, the, the best that he's going to do is maybe be, like, you can see 2015 as a free agent. So he's a little bit older, and, like, I think the... Um, the ceiling for this guy is like a backup catcher. <laughs> so not the guy that you want to hit. Uh, maybe the biggest card that I hit and, and a guy that I missed, like when I did my top 10 uh, guys to look for in Bowman, the one guy that uh, clearly missed out on uh, was this guy, Jackson Chorio. Uh, man, the Brewers have a stacked farm system. So this is a guy to look for um, as well as the top 10 that I pointed out. And uh, this was definitely the best card that I hit out of that box, number to 150. Uh, and then I went back into my Bowman first and I ended up hitting three of this. So there's another guy to look for. He's been lighting up... Um, the minor leagues this season, I know it's early, but he's been doing really well. Uh, plus, he's a teenager, so uh, his cards are hot right now. So, uh, without further ado, oh, you know what? Uh, real quick, um, just a couple of guys, you know, if we're talking about 2022, Trevor Bauer suspended for two years. <laughs> uh, I know he's uh, filed a grievance with the Major League Baseball, so we'll see how that turns out. But not a good situation for Trevor Bauer and for those of you that collect Trevor Bauer. Uh, Reed Detmers, the first uh, player to throw a no-hitter this year, uh, a rookie. Uh, he was uh, His cards are in uh, 2022 Tops Series 1, so uh, keep an eye out for Reed Detmers, um, rookie. Uh, and he threw a no-hitter in his first season with the Angels. Uh, and another card that, I, you know, as I was looking through um, some of the players, Merrill Kelly, I think he has like a 1.7 ERA right now. I uh, just was happy, I, you know, I was kind of just looking through all, I, and he ended up, I ended up looking through so many cards to find the top 30 cards, um, you know. So basically what I did is I tried to pull out, I looked at the top 30 um, war this year and pick out the best card that I have. So for example... At number 31, I guess as an honorable mention, um, Juan Soto. So Juan Soto's war for this year, according to Fangraphs. Now, by the way, I realized by doing this research that ESPN has a war and Fangraphs has a war. There are different ways to compute war, which I had no, like, I thought it was just a standard calculation. But apparently there are different ways to compute war. And uh, based on fan graphs right now, as I'm doing this video on May 16, 2022, uh, Juan Soto is number 31 in war at a 1.3 war. He has eight home runs, 26 RBIs, been walking a lot. Um, but of course, you, you know, Juan Soto, not a surprise to see him in uh, the top players for war. Uh, and I have him at number 31. And this, of course, is the best card that I own of Juan Soto, the hands-on-hips card. Uh, so 
try beating that guys uh, at number 31. At number 30, now this is an example of a guy that I feel like I should, the best card that I have of Eric Hosmer is these two cards, um, depending on which one you like better, the Target Red or the Purple, I'd probably go with the Purple Chrome, but it's pretty shocking, you know, of all the cards that I have, the best Eric Hosmer card that I could dig up was a 2013 refractor of Eric <laughs> of Hosmer. So uh, he's having a really good year. Uh, he's batting 350. I, you know, again, I know it's early on in the season, but it's always fun to kind of see who's hot to start off the season. So I have Eric Cosmer at number 30. Um, at number 29 in terms of war, and again, we're at a 1.4 war according to fan graphs, uh, is Mookie Betts, uh, number 29. So Mookie Betts, these are the two best cards that I could dig up. I have the Bowman Sterling Refractor. Uh, this would be number one, but unfortunately came back as an eight. And then you have the PSA 10. So depending on which card you prefer to go for, this is at number 29. Uh, let's see, he is hitting 254, seven home runs, 29 RBIs. Um, you know, the, the thing, the cool thing about war, you know, and I, I don't know about you guys, but growing up, like I used to look at standard batting, you know, so I, when I was a kid, it was batting average. You know, I'd look at the batting average, it'd always be Tony Gwen and Wade Boggs at the top of that list. And then you realize, well, if you're going to look, you know, you got walk is as good as a hit, right guys? So you look at, then you start looking at on base percentage, but then you're like, well, if you're looking at on on base percentage, then you have you know a double's better than a walk. So then you start looking at slugging, and then if you look at slugging, it doesn't include walk. So he goes, okay, uh, OPS uh, on base plus slugging percentage. But then the problem with OPS is it doesn't include defensive metrics, and so that's where war. That's why people like wins above replacement is it's it's an attempt to look at not only uh, the player as a hitter, but also as a defender. And Mookie Betts, because, because he plays center field, uh, some of these guys that play uh, are really good defensively, uh, their war will be a lot higher, uh, and you'll see guys that maybe you don't expect to see on the list. So anyway, uh, long explanation. So um, at number 27, uh, I have, uh, I think we're at 28 or 27, um, Jeff McNeil. I think this is actually 28. Jeff McNeil, rookie. That was the, the best I could find of Jeff McNeil. Uh, his war is a 1.4. Um, at number 27 is Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker has five home runs, 254 batting average. You know, it's like hard to figure out, like, how does this guy have such a high war? Um, five home runs, uh, let's see, 19 RBIs. Uh, so, you know, nothing special. I guess he's got eight stolen bases, so that might add to it. But um, best I could find of Kyle Tucker is this one. Um, and then at number 26, in terms of war, Andres Jimenez. Uh, Andres Jimenez uh, having a, a good year for, I think, the Guardians. Uh, so this was the best card that I could find of Andres Jimenez. Um, at number 25 uh, is going to be Jordan Alvarez. Uh, and the best card I have of Jordan Alvarez. And his war so far is a 1.4. Uh, he's got 11 home runs, 21 RBIs, batting 257. So again, I'm not sure how they come up with, you know, how he has a 1.4 war. But the best card that I could find of Jordan was this card, uh, number 15 of 25. Uh, and then... Um, I think we're at, let's see, number 24 on this list. Wander Franco is having a good year. Um, I think he started off a lot hotter. I think he's cooled off lately. Four home runs, 21 RBIs, uh, three stolen bases so far. Again, a 1.4 war, batting 285. Uh, and this is the best card that I have of Wander. Uh, this is the short print Mega Box. Uh, next up is, uh, this was kind of surprising to see Dansby Swanson. So Swanson has moved ahead of Wander Franco in terms of wins above replacement. Uh, he has four home runs, 19 RBIs, four stolen bases, 132 plate appearances. He's only batting 229. So that's kind of crazy for a guy that's batting 229, uh, according to fan graphs, is ahead of Wander Franco. So, uh, you know, who knows, you know, I know they put a lot of, 
you know, like I, like I said, he might be having a great defensive year, which will reason why he's uh, got a higher war. But uh, it's kind of a cool card. Dansby Swanson, Tops Tribute, number 99. Uh, next up is Ty France. Uh, Ty France actually started off the year really well last year. Uh, and uh, so he was in a video that I did about a year ago. Um around the same time so he similar to last year st starting off the year real hot five home runs 15 rbis uh 25 rbis to start the season and a 1.4 win wins above replacement and this is the gold version number to 2019 uh at number 21 in terms of war is uh pablo lopez uh so you could you could be a pitcher and have a really high wins above replacement. Uh, he is four and one to start the season. Uh, it has a 1.05 ERA with the Marlins. So heck of a way to start the year for, for my boy Pablo Lopez. And I searched all over the place for Pablo Lopez cards. Uh, so this was a Don Ru This is the best card I could find. Don Russ, Pablo Lopez. Um, all right. At number 20 uh, of... Uh, the highest wins above replacement uh, is going to be Freddie Freeman. Uh, and we move up to a 1.5 war so far. Uh, three home runs, 21 RBIs. Uh, I'm sorry, three home runs, 21 runs scored, 13 RBIs. He's batting 295 on base percentage of 397. Uh, so the Freddie Freeman Diamond rookie card uh, from 2011 Tops. Uh, was the best card that I have of Freddie Freeman. I, I probably should have better cards of Freddie Freeman, but unfortunately, this is the best card that I had. This was an interesting one. At number 19, uh, J.P. Crawford is the next guy on this list. Four home runs, 16 RBIs, uh, 16 runs scored, 11 RBIs. Uh, he's hitting 322 with a 406 on base percentage. So I was able to dig this one up of uh, Bowman Sterling. So that, the part of the, the fun of this guys, you know, um, you know, good luck. And the problem with doing a list like this is every day the war changes. So if you don't get, a, you know, if you find, let's say 19 of the 25 cards or 30 cards, you know, whatever, if you're doing a list like this, if you wait a day, the whole list of war can completely change. Uh, but JP Crawford, um, was, you know, one of the top guys, uh, for a while now this year. Um, next up, Dalton Varsho. Uh, I talked about Dalton Varsho as a guy you can get. I remember I, I recommended his Bowman first for under 50 bucks about, um, about a year or two ago. And some people made fun of me, but he's having a good year. Uh, he's a catcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks, six home runs, um, 15 runs scored, uh, 16 RBIs. So having a, a pretty nice year as a catcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, next up, and this took me a long time to find, uh, Tariq Skubal, uh, the best card that I could find of his. Uh, so for some reason, despite the fact that he's three and two for the Detroit Tigers, let's see, he's got a, uh, 2.5 ERA. So there's nothing really that jumps out at me, but for whatever reason, he has a 1.5, uh, wins above replacement. <laughs> 39 pitch, uh, 39 innings pitched for the Tigers and was able to dig up uh, this Sapphire Bowman first. So he is right now number 17 in terms of wins above replacement. Uh, pitches for the Tigers, uh, young guy, so guy to look out for. Um, number 16, Tommy Edmond. Uh, I know he's been a guy that's uh, been mentioned before. Uh, four home runs, uh, 24 runs scored, lots of runs scored, 17 RBIs, has a 1.5 uh, wins above replacement so far, uh, 140 plate appearances, and was able to dig up his rookie, uh, and this has like that 150th anniversary stamp. So good start to the season for Tommy Edmond. All right, guys, top 15 players as of right now uh, in terms of war, and at number 15, is my man Bryce Harper. And of course, I had to pull out the 2012 Tops Update Gold. Uh, and this, of course, numbered 11-11 uh, of 2012. So Bryce Harper starting off the year well. Nine home runs, 29 runs scored, 27 RBIs. Uh, has a 1.6 wins above replacement. And uh, number 15 on the list. Number 14, and this is really where, you know, this may be the last time I ever do wins above replacement because it doesn't make any sense. 
Uh, Carlos Rodon, uh, he's 4-2 and two to start the season, but his ERA is 3.49. I mean, I don't get... Why would that be better than a, you know, Nestor, like nasty Nestor of the Yankees, uh, who's been absolutely fantastic, for example. Uh, let me pull up his numbers. He's got a 1.35 ERA, Nestor Cortez. I know he's only two and one, but what difference? That shouldn't matter towards wins above replacement. For some reason, Nestor Cortez, who's been fantastic for the Yankees with a 1.35 ERA, has a lower a war, much lower war than Carlos Rodon, who has a 3.49 ERA and a 1.6 war. So, uh, but was able to find this Bowman first of Carlos Rodon. Uh, back to the hitters, lots of hitters uh, on here. Uh, Jazz Chisholm from the uh, Miami Marlins was able to dig up this uh, Sapphire rookie debut, the best card that I could find of Jazz Chisholm that I have. Uh, nice season for Jazz. Um, was this a sophomore season? <laughs> Six home runs, 17 RB, uh, 17 runs scored, 24 RBIs. Uh, he also, to add to that, has six stolen bases. And let's see, he ha is batting 288. So a 1.6 war for Jazz Chisholm. Now, one guy that's kind of come out of nowhere that a lot of people should be paying attention to that has started the year off hot uh, is this guy, Jeremy Pena. And the best card that I could find of his uh, was this Bowman first, uh, shortstop, you know, the Astros, it doesn't matter, you know, like one guy leaves and another guy just, you know, they just have this guy, Jeremy Pena come out of nowhere, uh, six home runs, 18 runs scored, 20 RBIs. Uh, let's see, he's batting, uh, let's see for the season 276, uh, 1.7 wins above replacement for Jeremy Pena, who's the new shortstop for the Astros. And, uh, Pulled out a couple of his cards, so I also uh, pulled out this Bowman Sapphire. Oh, and I guess I showed off the next card. <laughs> At number 11 is uh, Brandon Nimmo for the, the New York Metropolitans. Uh, three home runs, 20 runs scored, 12 RBIs, batting 304. Uh, he has a 1.7 war. So number 16, the best card I could find for Nimmo. Uh, and then these Jeremy Pena cards. I don't know which one would be the best card. I guess I'd still go with the Bowman first over the Sapphire. <clears throat> All right, guys, uh, top 10 players right now. And of course, we're only a, you know, a month and a half into the season, like 35 games into the season, but it still is fun to look at some of the guys that have the highest war so far. Um, Byron Buxton uh, having a really nice start. Uh, he's at number 10, was able to find this Bowman best auto. So really cool there. Uh, at number nine, uh, Raphael Devers. At number nine and uh, 1.8 war for Raphael Devers. Uh, six home runs, 22 runs scored, 19 RBIs for Raphael Devers. Best card I could find was a PSA 10. By the way, um, Filmington showed that I guess somebody pulled a one of one of this card uh, from a rookie explosion box recently. So congratulations to whoever did that. That's incredible i can't even imagine what it would be like to pull that card um of course the guy that's always going to be on here um shohei otani big surprise <coughs> his total war is going to be really high of all the time because of the fact that he is a pitcher and a hitter so his total war is always going to be really high i think he just hit like a monster i think he uh, hit his hundredth home run the other day in major league baseball already um, so fan, another fantastic year for, and he, you know, he's going to be in the running for American league MVP. Um, next up at number seven is going to be Jose Ramirez, uh, eight home runs, 20 runs scored, 33 RBIs, a hell of a start for Jose Ramirez. Unfortunately, the best card that I have of his, uh, is this 2014 tops rookie in a, in a BGS eight. So that was the best card I could find of Jose Ramirez. Uh, number six, um, Nolan Arenado, uh, has a 2.2 war, uh, for the St. Louis Cardinals, eight home runs, 29 RBIs, uh, for Nolan Arda, Arenado, uh, Bowman Sterling in a PSA nine. All right. And, uh, top five, uh, number five is going to be Aaron Judge, uh, 12 home runs, 28, uh, runs scored, 27 RBIs. I do not know how. 
uh, Giancarlo Stanton is not in the top 30 players with wins above replacement. For, for some reason, he isn't, but Aaron Judge is. Um, so we have that guy, uh, Aaron Judge. And then next up, Mike Trout. Of course, the best card that I own is the 2009 Bowman Chrome uh, Auto and a PSA 10. Um, and of course, Mike Trout, what is he? he's got a 2.4 war. Um, next up is this guy, Taylor Ward. What a, what a uh, season to begin for Taylor Ward. Um, I don't know, for some reason, I don't have his stats up, but he's, he's right there as uh, number three in terms of uh, top players in terms of wins above replacement was able to find this uh, really cool Sapphire card. So check it out, guys, if you could find Taylor Ward's cards because he's having a fantastic year. His war is higher right now than Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. Uh, number two, and this is where it really doesn't make any sense to me, uh, number two is Kevin Gaussman. Uh, I can't figure out why Kevin Gaussman would be number two, but he is three and two uh, so, so far, and I don't know how that gets him to be number two in terms of wins above replacement. His war right now is 2.5. So if somebody could please explain to me why Kevin Gaussman at three and two would be a 2.5 war. That makes no sense. Um, this will be the last time I ever do. Uh, I, I guess his FIP is really low. Um, is 0 0.84. I, I don't know if that's the reason, but uh, he is at number two in 2.5 war. The best card that I could find of Kevin Gaussman was this uh, Topps Chrome card. And then number one, the number one player right now in terms of wins above replacement with a 2.8 War, which is much higher than any other player, um, is uh, Manny Machado. So I pulled out a bunch of Manny Machado cards. Um, and uh, the best card, I, you know, I, I couldn't really figure out what my best Manny Machado card was. Uh, I did hit this uh, card at the National, number 50. That's a really cool card. And then these two cards got the Sapphire with Tatis, but it's like a checklist card and then a Manny Machado Dylan Bundy card but Manny Machado hell of a way to start the season <coughs> very you know undervalued because of people don't really like him <laughs> too much you know he's had some controversy before not always a, you know um uh, he a lot of people blame him for ending Dustin Pedroia's career uh but he's having a hell of a season t seven home runs 27 uh, runs scored, 27 RBIs, six stolen bases. You know he plays a, a great uh, third base. Uh, and so Manny Machado at number one uh, started has started off the year hotter than any other player in baseball. Like I said, guys, we're only 35 uh, games into the season, but you might want to, you know, this does open some eyes for me, you know, uh, guys to look out for like Taylor Ward, um, Jeremy Pena, another guy to look out for, and, and maybe look at some guys that maybe are a little undervalued, like Eric Hosmer and um, Manny Machado. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, got something out of it, um, or at least enjoyed it. Uh, let me know, you know, if it's kind of funny looking at some of these cards and seeing, you know, why, for whatever reason, I, you know, don't have any really valuable Eric Cosmer cards, nothing too crazy with Kevin Gaussman and uh, Manny Machado. But let me know um, where, you know, if you guys have those cards, where your cards stack up. Uh, so thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you later. Peace.